cheap vehicle security. And when I say cheap, I don't mean crap. I mean low-end, budget security that works properly. That's a good thing about it. It works properly. Right, we've got some of the car lock vibration sensors. Now, they didn't ask us to do a video on these. They didn't pay us to do a video on them. We've just got them because they're really good. Now, what do they do? What are they? And um, what are the benefits from them? So if you've got a car lock system fitted to your van, your motorhome, your caravan, your, your car, these will basically let you know if there's like a bang, a shock, something like that, a vibration in the vehicle. Because the car lock device doesn't do that, but these do. That's what they are there. And they're dead simple to fit. Right, let's open one and have a look at what they are. So that is the device right there. Now, inside there, if you open this cap on the top, you have the whole insides of it there. You will notice there's a little tab just there. That is so you can separate the battery from the actual device. So we'll get to that in a minute. They can be mounted any way you want. These are waterproof, so you can mount them wherever you like. We're going to put them on the back doors, on each side door, and one on the door in the van as well. So we've got all the doors, all the entry points of the van. If a window gets smashed, it's going to pick up a detection. If the door gets rammed open, it's going to pick up a vibration detection. That's the point of them. So let's um, fit them, and then we can go the whole process of adding them to your phone, getting them activated, and go from there. Now, connecting it to your phone couldn't be any simpler. Open your car lock app, and then on the very bottom, you'll see smart lock. So, we've got the smart lock open on the phone. Within the smart lock part, you've got car lock sensors, which that is one of. So, we can click manage. Now, in there, you've got vibration sensors. You can see there's two there. There's the back door ones, and then there's the front driver's door one. We're going to add this one, to the passenger door. So you click add vibration sensor. Right, so what it wants you to scan is that QR code on the very back there. On the screen, it does have that little box there that shows you how to scan it. And then that has come up as B1286. Right, we can now manage that sensor and we can rename it. If we undo this now, now we can take the little tab that's out there just like that. Now this is activated. Now I think a great place to fit these if you do have window blinds on would be on the inside of the window blinds. Now you don't have to screw them they also come with a little 3M sticker like that which you will literally just peel the back off put it on the back there just like that and we're just going to place it away from this runner here I'm going to place it by the window there Give that a push down, that's all fine. Make sure it doesn't interfere with the window. And then that one's all done. I'm gonna put another one on the sliding door. Now we've gotta be careful because obviously the door opens right the way to the side of the van. As you can see right there, it opens all the way up. These are quite chunky, but we've got a space here which it won't interfere with this side of the van and it will open and close fully. The same as when we shut the door, this section here, it's fine. So, first of all, we need to connect it up to the app by the QR code on the back. Same process as before, go into your car lock, go into the smart lock system, then click manage and then click add vibration sensor. That one has been added. And then we're gonna stick it right there, just like that. Now, because this is on the side door and it's going to be open and closed and open and closed all the time. I am going to put a couple of little self tappers in the top and the bottom just so I know it's not going anywhere. There we go. That is going nowhere and everything still works. It's all fine in the right position. So now if I close this door, it's still there. It's not moving, not going anywhere. One on the back door as well. It's all paired up to the phone. There we go, back door, two side doors, and the sliding door, all done. Right, so we've got all the sensors on, we've got it all armed, it's all done in the actual app, turned on, 
that's all fine. So now, technically, if I just open the door and shut it, right, I'm gonna say round about a mini, round about a mini for it to send the vibration to the car lock device, then up to the cloud or the wherever, and then to your app on your phone. Now, a mini is a long time, but if you're not by your vehicle, or there you go. So, less than a mini, I'd say that was around about 30 seconds, it sent the alarm. Now this will go off, if you put your phone into focus mode, which is nighttime mode, which is do not disturb, don't you know, bother me, it will actually bother you. So that has now gone into focus mode on the Apple phone, open the door, give the door a slam again, and then this now, I'm not going to touch the phone, this will now notify the phone that there's been an alarm triggered. Again, could take 30 seconds up to a minute to do it, but you will get a notification. There we go. It's in focus mode. It's in do not disturb mode. You're still getting that annoying noise. There's also a little tag you can buy as well that will actually turn the device on when your phone is not by the vehicle. So once you get away from the vehicle, the tag will notice that the phone's not connected, turn the system on, which is great if you forget, because you have to physically go into the app, press the button to turn the system on, and you know you, you now know that the alarm system, the tracker system is all activated. Well worth it. There will be links in the description if you want to check them out. They are affiliate links, so they are off Amazon and we do get a little bit of a kickback, but for the cost of them, it doesn't matter. It's no extra charge to you. We just get a Brucey bonus. And you want a Brucey bonus? Wow! Now, there's also another video there as well about a rear door lock that we fitted. Go and check that one out because that is just brilliant and low cost as well. Low cost security for your van, keeping you safe, and let's be honest, more vans now are going missing than ever, so get covered.